Hey guys, welcome to Poolshed Games. I am Andrew, also known as the Lich Lord, and this is going to be an episode of the Book Cantina. And this is going to kind of be a uh, shorter video. I'm just going to talk about a magazine that I've been subscribed to for about a year and a half now that I really like. Uh, it's called Asimov's Science Fiction. And I'm doing this uh, episode primarily because I don't think many people actually know about this magazine. Um, as you can guess, it is a literary uh, magazine that publishes uh, science fiction short stories and novellas. Uh, generally, all the stories are pretty good. Um, now and then you do get a story that is kind of mediocre, but I've never had a story that is really just plain old, plain and simply bad. Uh, generally, the the stories and the novellas are really good. Some Sometimes they get very prominent writers. Um, other times it's unknown writers that you may never have heard of. Um, things like that. But generally on... Yeah, from the ones I've read, they've all been good. Um, I have read a couple where I was kind of like, well, that was alright, not, not as great as some of the other ones I have read. But for the most part, they're really good uh, stories, and they're very enjoyable, and they're short, and it's something great that you can just kind of take with you to work and maybe read over your lunch break, or if you're you know, going to school or something like that, you can read it over your lunch break. And, and they're really good, and they're short, and yeah. Uh, they also sometimes publish... Uh, poetry that is based on uh, science fiction themes, which, I mean, I'm not really uh, the giant fan of poetry. I mean, I don't hate poetry, but I, it's just not one of those things I really go out of my way to read. But uh, I really think that some of the, the ones they publish in this are pretty cool because they're kind of weird, to be to be honest. Uh, but I, I think they're good. And, and uh, as I said, a lot of the writers they, they publish are unknown. So if you're into science fiction and maybe you don't know who to read, who's who's upcoming, who's going to be a good writer in the future, you could maybe you know, buy this at a store or subscribe to it, and you can kind of read through it and, and get an idea of who some of the really good, possibly great writers are going to be in the future. And as I said, sometimes they publish um, really popular writers that are already out there right now. Um, for a year, I think it's $34.97. Uh, as I said... I've had it for, like, a year and a half or around there, so... It is a little expensive, but it's a pretty decent size magazine, as you can see. I mean, it's not like you're getting something that has, like, two stories. Generally, there's a novella, there's two to four short stories, and sometimes, <clears throat> as I said, there will be poetry and things like that. There's also articles that are on uh, books that are out right now, things of that nature, uh, books that have been popular, different... Themes that have been going on in the genre at the time. And it's all around just a really good magazine. I know this sounds like just a giant commercial for it. But it really is pretty good. And um, I really don't think many people know about this. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I mean, a lot of people might actually know about this. And uh, I just don't know that people know about it. But I I heard of it on a YouTube channel. It, there's a channel that's called Write About Dragons. Where it's Brandon Sanderson, who's a fantasy writer. And uh, he was talking about Asimov's science fiction short story magazine. And uh, I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. So I subscribed to it for like half a year, I think. <clears throat> and I really liked it, and I decided to subscribe to it for a whole year. And I've been getting it, and I've read every single one I have so far. And I I've just really enjoyed it. Um, as I said, you can also buy this at a store, like a uh, bookstore. They sometimes carry them. But uh, generally, they're just... It's a, it's a subscription type of thing. But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, like and favorite. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you are subscribed to Asimov Science Fiction and like it. Um, I, I'm the only person... I, I don't know anybody else who actually is subscribed to the magazine. So so I don't know how other people really feel about it. But yeah, if you are subscribed, let me know how you, how you feel about it. If you like it, if you dislike it. Some of the stories you've liked, things like that. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. And have a good night.